Haiti is again in the news with the devastation caused by Hurricane Matthew nearly seven years after the utter destruction caused by a seven-point earthquake. And it is shortly after that earthquake when the events take place in the first act of the play, The Last Tiger in Haiti, at Berkeley Rep's Pete's Theater through November 27th. Playwright Jeff Augustin is of Haitian descent, and The Last Tiger in Haiti arose from his desire to examine the crick-crack tradition of storytelling. The play originated as a study of child abuse in Haiti and then expanded, and then expanded again. There's a tradition in Haiti called Crick Crack, which is how they tell stories. It's an ancient tribal method of storytelling. A storyteller will say Crick, and if the majority of people in the room say Crack, then he's encouraged to tell a story. Tony Tacconi, artistic director of Berkeley Rep. It's got a, a family of essentially children who are more or less indentured servants to a character called Mr. Who We Never See. The first act describes how they survive by just telling stories. I mean, literally, stories are their food, basically. The orphans bicker and argue and tell each other stories to stay alive and keep themselves occupied in the face of their oppression. But then, playwright Jeff Augustin pulls a fast one. And the second act happens years later, like now, in which one of these characters is a successful memoir writer. One of the other characters comes back to her plush, beautiful apartment in Miami to challenge her version of the events. And what happens, of course, is this shocking revelations about who told what story and what's true and what's false. In essence, the play is less about Haiti than about questions concerning how we transform memory for our own purposes into the stories we tell. Is honesty the goal or is healing? The production is aided by strong performances from all five actors, in particular Brittany Belazir as Rose and Andy Lucian as Max, and superb set design by Takeshi Kata. The caveat is that the play's strength in construction is also its weakness. The twists of Act 2 cannot occur without audience knowledge of events in Act 1, events that look on the surface to be tangential to the main thrust of the storyline. This often makes the first act a bit of a slog, and the thick Haitian accents don't help either. But the key is that there is a payoff, a reward for hanging tough. In a play about storytelling, you have to wait until the end of the story to find out what's really going on. The Last Tiger in Haiti by Jeff Augustin directed by Joshua Kahan Brody, plays at Berkeley Rep's Pete's Theater through November 27th. For more information, you can go to berkeleyrep.org. I'm Richard Walensky on Bay Area Theater for KPFA.